The following segment is sponsored by PC Laptops. With a recent surge in Bitcoin's value, hackers are on the attack, everyone. Dan Young from PC Laptops is here to share how you can protect yourself and your data online. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me on. Of course. Okay, can you explain how the increase in cryptocurrency value is making people more vulnerable to cyber attacks? Yeah, big demands in cryptocurrency, Bitcoin and things like that. Um, BlackRock and Fidelity released their Bitcoin ETF and they have over 20, 20 trillion in management under management right now, so it's Whoa. crazy. Um, but every four years, it goes up. It's called the Bitcoin cycle, okay. having cycle. And that's where the mining difficulty becomes twice as hard. But in English, what that means is every four years, there's usually a big surge. So that's why you're seeing it. Okay, and you're so smart with this. And I know you want people to do their research because you said every four years, which is usually around election time, which is every four years, you can start to see an increase, right? It typically happens at least the last three, four year cycles. Okay, good to know. What are some of the most dangerous types of malware infections you've seen in recent years, particularly targeting cryptocurrency holders now that you know this is becoming more popular? Well, the big thing that everything, banking, everything is online, including crypto, right? You're gonna see text messages and emails bombarding your inboxes. Mm. And they have links to fake sites, which if you engage with those, you can infect your computer and they can steal your passwords and data and money and all kinds of things. All the bad stuff. Okay, how are these phishing attacks typically structured and like what red flags, Dan, should people watch out for in their emails and their text messages? Usually it's emails or texts from people you don't know. Mm. And sometimes in your email there's a weird attachment though, but don't be tempted to click on those. Usually you can mark them as, as spam or report them as phishing attacks, right? Yep. And then they won't go in your inbox as much. Yep, okay, so make sure that it's, I mean, it couldn't be from someone you know, it's gotta be from, or could they act like they're someone you know in your contacts? They could actually steal someone you know's phone number or your phone number, right? Yeah. And you could get a fake, you know, message as well. So it's, it's tough to see. Um, but usually friends aren't going to send you weird links, right? Right. <laughs> you hope not. <laughs> yeah, you can call them. You know. <laughs> right. Okay, so can you explain how SIM hacking works and why it is so dangerous? Okay, so what happens though is with your phones, a lot of times the phone numbers can get stolen. When you log on to your banking or crypto account, a lot of times they'll text message you with a code, right? Is it yeah. you? And you put it in. Right. They steal your phone number, they've got that code. So we use a program called Google Authenticator. Okay. And that's just a more secure way. It's not guaranteed, but it's way more secure than text message authentication. Okay, making, making it a little more um, safe. What specific steps should people take right now to protect their personal and business devices from threats? And how can PC laptops help? Okay, first things first, if you have a PC, bring it to PC laptops. We'll scan it for free to make sure you don't have any of that malware stuck in your computer. Okay. But no matter what brand you have, you should definitely get some good malware protection and virus protection software and it actively helps monitor these infections. That's so nice. Do we need to make an appointment before we bring in our equipment, Dan? What's your suggestion? You can, but I would just drop by. We're all over State Street from, you know, Orm to Salt Lake to- It's uh, so many awesome locations. Else. So we're everywhere. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. You'll just look at it for free, make sure everything's safe. Okay, where can we go for more information, Dan? PCLaptops.com. Okay, you're amazing. Thanks Thank for you. helping us safe. We are safe personally, and also like our data online. You're just awesome, appreciate you. Thanks Thank so much. You.